Hello dear viewers and welcome to T-World. Kindly hit the subscribe button and we will be on our way. In today's news, Sen. Lindsey Graham is moving to attempt to hinder a summon from the Fulton County, Georgia lead prosecutor in an examination concerning previous President Donald Trump's endeavor to compel the state's decisions boss to find additional decisions in favor of him. A move that has set off shock from a few legitimate specialists, in any case. Noted previous rep. David Jolly on MSNBC's The Readout Wednesday, Graham's protection from the summon could really wind up placing Trump in much more lawful obligation. In particular, he contended, Graham is one of the main individuals who could affirm in support of Trump, and his refusal could compel the previous president to address more inquiries of his own. I keep thinking about whether there's a feeling that there are a few Republicans who may be somewhat pulling for this, said anchor Joy Reid. I'm pondering Mitch McConnell who expressed, there was this statement, this was about the prosecution, that Mitch McConnell purportedly said, and this is a statement from the book This Shall Not Pass. The Democrats will deal with this bastard for us. Alluding to his up-and-coming indictment, it's fun at others' expense. On the grounds that not it wouldn't be the January 6th committee, it would be the black woman in Georgia. Very amusing. Said Jolly, you realize who can assist with addressing the dangers of brutality and bigotry. Mitch McConnell and Lindsey Graham. He ought to be quick to denounce the sober case coming toward the examiner in Fulton County. Yet all at once he's not. He's stowing away from her. It's practically amusing how impeccably Lindsey Graham this second is. The person that gets the fire going needs to run from it. Here is the other extraordinary incongruity in Lindsey Graham's conduct at this time. Added Jolly. You realize what at last will prompt the summon of Donald Trump. Lindsey Graham's trouble. Assuming that he said there was a genuine regulative reason. I wasn't doing this for the president, to go after swearing to tell the truth and say that was the idea of my call. It gets exceptionally hard for the Fulton County Examiner to then summon Donald Trump, yet, it's exceptionally simple. Without Lindsey Graham, for the Fulton County investigator to say, You know what, judge, due to the trouble of Lindsey Graham, we have motivation to accept that we want to bring after swearing to tell the truth the previous leader of the United States, it is impeccably Lindsey Graham. Everything unquestionably revolves around the senior congressperson from South Carolina. And it's about no other individual. In other news, on Wednesday's release of MSNBC's cutoff time, White House, previous Solicitor General Neil Cadiel attacked Sen. Lindsey Graham for his endeavors to impede a summon from Georgia State Examiner Fannie Willis. The summon is important for a test into previous President Donald Trump's work to compel the Secretary of State to find additional decisions in favor of him, something legitimate specialists accept could introduce the best criminal obligation to Trump of any of the examinations concerning him. What Fannie Willis is to law and order in Georgia. Positively everybody watching this show is trusting Merrick Garland is to law and order in America. Said anchor Nicole Wallace. Do you perceive how she kind of makes him seem as though he's not holding a candle to the current situation law and order to everybody and anybody? I wouldn't go that far. Nicole, said Cadiel, she's somewhat further ahead and Merrick Garland has various other contending concerns. Remembering this examination for Congress which he seems as though he's hanging tight for the products of that before prior to making considerable strides prior to taking a criminal incrimination of Donald Trump or others around him. I don't believe that is amazing. I feel that is essential for the virtuoso of our framework. Our pioneers have criminal arraignments at the state level and at the government level and it seems to be this Georgia Daw is checking out at racketeering and trick against Donald Trump and his partners. Just Donald Trump could be at the focal point of a supposed racketeering plan that never made anybody any cash in that fizzle. That is Trump's mo. However, she surely appears to be extreme in putting forth a persuading defense as of now. This is perhaps extortion against Georgia, at the point when Lindsey Graham talks, to no one's surprise. Out of the two sides of his mouth, he has neither rhyme nor reason, proceeded with Cadiel. He says this is all legislative issues. Indeed, assuming that it is all governmental issues and you know such a great amount about the circumstance, Senator Graham, and you're so certain there's nothing of substance, then I'm certain you're anxious to proceed to affirm before the fantastic jury and consent to the summit. Obviously he's not. He needs to attempt to impede the summit. He's asserting it's some kind of partition of abilities issue. Which I suppose is persuading on the off chance that Lindsey Graham is attempting to demonstrate he should not be being on the Senate Judiciary Committee. This is Louis Gohmert misconception of the detachment of abilities. Added Cadiel. I don't figure his endeavor to hinder the summon will go anyplace and leave a great deal of insightful ways open for from what Graham says and the other six people who have been summoned by this lead prosecutor. If you made it to the end of the video, kindly hit the subscribe button and leave a comment, it helps the channel.